Now from the Weather Tracker TV Storm Studios, this is your weather today. Here's Chief Meteorologist William Cole. All right, folks. Well, here we go now on this Back to Work Monday. And, of course, it's not just any Monday. It is Solar Eclipse Monday. And, well, looking behind me, you can see a lot of low-gray stratus cloud cover that's built in. The good news is this time of year, April and May, the sun angle is relatively strong. We should be pretty efficient at burning a lot of what you're seeing out there off before, again, early afternoon, before we get closer to the eclipse. Could still be some high-level cloud cover but I think we will see some improving conditions. That's the plan. We're going to talk more about the solar eclipse forecast coming up later in the hour. The reason why we're going to talk about it later in the hour, uh, we've truly got bigger fish to fry as we get deeper into the day today, this evening, tonight, and even tomorrow. We're talking about a multi-day severe weather threat. All hazards are in the forecast. Hail, wind, tornadoes, and even some flooding concerns as well. Uh, the storm timeline, the details, all of that this morning is now beginning to evolve. So this is important information we do want to get you caught up with, and especially for the folks who are in town visiting and may not even be familiar with severe weather. Uh, important details here for you as well. Now, the good news is through a good part of the day, we're completely quiet. In fact, all the way here in the Metroplex through at least 4 p.m., but again, by late afternoon, but more so this evening here at the Metroplex, the opportunity of rain storms will be increasing. And again, we will be talking about the opportunity of some supercell shaped storms, especially as we go through the evening. Now, radar currently, you can see is basically quiet around the region. Uh, again, if you're still maybe even trying to travel someplace right around the region uh, to get to where you're going to be viewing the eclipse, you're not going to have a lot of complications this morning. Uh, but this right here is going to be the tip of the iceberg as we go through the afternoon. You can see that red line right there. That's a warm front. This is instability, current instability. Right now, it's all bottled up down along the Gulf Coast. But as that red line, that warm front begins to lift to the north today, this instability is going to come flooding to the north. And as it turns out, we've got a very potent upper level storm system out to the west. This is slowly but surely going to be moving out today, Monday, tomorrow, Tuesday, and potentially even into Wednesday, uh, giving us that multi day threat of rain and storms, and severe weather. Just looking at the modeling here, again, you can see what a slow mover that storm is, right? I mean, we're talking about the next couple of days. Finally, it moves through as we get into Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, heading into the weekend, big ridge there. That will be quieter weather. That will be calmer weather. But before we get to that, like I mentioned, we've got a couple days here uh, where we do have an opportunity of some higher end severe weather possible to a more likely zone of severe weather. I think this may be adjusted as we go through the day. I wouldn't be surprised if that's also pulled a little bit further down to the southeast, the opportunities of tornadoes today, it is in the forecast. We want to be real clear about that. And again, especially from our southeastern counties, possibly right on up near the 35 corridor. I know right now you're seeing a lot of dark red, but truly I think our southeastern counties all the way up towards the 35 corridor. Again, this evening, stay alert to the possibility of a tornado warning or two. Could be some big hell very late this evening and tonight coming out of the big country and again, impacting parts of our northwestern counties. I'll show you that in the modeling coming up. The other piece of this, it's going to be the rain. And again, as we factor all of this together through Wednesday, some locations, two, three, even four inches of rain. There is a new flood watch that's also been issued. We'll talk about that coming up later in the hour as well. Good news, again, you can see through most of the afternoon, we're quiet through eclipse time, no complications. But after that, we've got storms coming in from the south. Any of those could be supercellular. Again, the opportunity of severe weather, large hail, damaging winds, tornado concerns may develop with those. We really got to track that again as we go through the evening. And then by late this evening, as we get closer to 10, 11, midnight, you see supercells also coming in from the west, large hail threat there. And then for early tomorrow, Tuesday, as we go through the morning, as we go through the afternoon, another round of rain, storms, possibly some severe weather mixed in with that. And then kind of the tail comes through, if you will, as we get into Wednesday before we begin to dial all of that down. So again, multi-days here, multi-faceted, and again, multi-threats going forward as well. Highs today will be in the 80s. It'll be a fairly warm, becoming humid afternoon. And again, you can see there's that increasing rain and storm probability, especially after 7 p.m. locally here at the Metroplex. We're tracking all this. We're talking about this. We're talking about the eclipse. We're talking about it all again as the hour rolls along. Stay with us.